hi guys welcome to a new vlog and thank you guys for stopping by today is a wednesday and i decided to sit down and set out my goals for the year if you watched my last vlog you know i, I mentioned the day that i was going to actually have to take out some time to just write out my goals my personal life goals and then my channel goals for the year so i started by worshiping god and just praying and thanking him for everything that i did last year for the things i couldn't do i just thanked him for everything for including the challenges the highlights and the low light i thanked him for everything and then i played a video which had actually motivated me to want to go back to planning and setting my goals which um i was watching at this point while just thinking and writing down stuff so i went ahead to um, start by writing on my channel goals for 2022 and then i wrote out like my personal life goals which i decided to tie to the blessings of god um for me in 2022 and i decided to title them uh, blessings you guys my blessing spelling is wrong i decided to title it blessings um for me from god because i believe that these are things that god is going to bestow upon me he's going to embrace me to work hard i mean there's a scripture in the book of um corinthians where paul was saying that he was highly engraced. He was the one that had the highest grace from God, but he was the one that worked hard the highest. So I'm trusting God to give me the, the strength and that I don't waste the grace that is upon my life. Next day, we are grilling. You guys remember the pork and chicken we bought? Today is the day to grill. Don't cry. Let me make you do. Don't cry. You guys. I want to start frying the I'm going to be frying the while my husband is grilling. The pork and the chicken is ready. I'm sure I've showed you guys how it was steaming. So I want to make dodo. Zoe is crying, she's hungry. I want to fry dodo. Where's my frying pan? What's happening? Okay, wow. So I want to make dodo. I'll just make. Mams! Mommy! Okay. I'm making a dodo. You guys, when Zoe is hungry, into girl. She can cry, she can vex, she can provoke. I stored leftover oil in here. And so I'm pouring, let me get some plantain oil. I'm sure you guys are wondering that why is my kitchen? If you have been watching my kitchen videos, you know that something is always here. There's my fridge, my microwave. My fridge is bad, so that fridge has been disturbing me for a long time. Not a long time, for like a couple of, for a month now. It has been going back and forth. Let me put on the lights. Evening, so please are a bit dark, so the video was not clear. Let me just make the video. My fridge is with the repair. I keep fixing it. You will fix it and bring it. Mama! Yeah, Mama. Don't forget your tripod. I should not forget my tripod. Zoe says I should not forget my tripod. Mommy, you know I don't like you in the kitchen when I'm frying. Mm? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go and wait for me in the parlor. I'll not forget my tripod, you yeah. Thank you, Mama. You're yeah. very, you're very vigilant. See my baby like this. Mama, very vigilant. <laughs> I have a very vigilant baby. Tripod too. That? Get to put your phone on the tripod too. Peter also wants to come and be vigilant when Zoe has already told me. Panus! That's how you do it. When you're cooking, you have to always film. I have to always film when I cook. Yeah. Alright, sir. Heard you. Jesus. Heard you. You guys, I'm just slicing the plantain and putting the oil at once. Don't do this at once. Mommy, go back, please. Go back. I don't want you here. I beg. Yes, ma'am. You guys, I'll show you the grilling. The pork and the chicken, they are already ready. The pork took a longer time. You know, pork like that, if you are not careful, <laughs> you better be careful. If you are not careful, you better be careful. So it took like, it took more than 30 minutes here. Eh? And it's still not soft, like soft. It's going to get properly cooked. Wow. It's going to get soft on, on the the grill i'll take you guys and i'll show you guys the grilling so when my husband had my husband had been saying that he wanted to grill for a while now he actually grilled on christmas day he had been saying that he wanted to grill for a while now he wanted to buy it but this day but this day eh uh -huh. so where and you were sleeping 
so what was I saying? So he wanted to grill things. Then he wanted to buy a grill. These ones that have these covers. I'll show you what he finally got. It's outside. So he went there. We went there to price it together. That place they are expensive. I've actually seen a flower that I want for my living room in that same place. But I priced it. They were not too expensive. So I think I'll go back there and try to pick the price and buy it. He went there. They told him that 175000 for the grill. I was the one who actually saw it and told him that I've seen a grill somewhere. He was so excited. Went there. The price, he decided to make his own. I'll show you guys what he finally made. He spent 35000 to make what he has now. I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay. I need to prepare the children their uniforms. The first let him eat this dodo. I know they want to eat chicken. I'm waiting for that chicken. I mean, what oh, was my entire family you know, waiting for that chicken? Let me show you guys the. Let me show you guys the. The gorilla. It's outside. What's that? Chaco. Chaco. <laughs> I was just here suspecting that that Chaco would not be enough, and then he had bought Chaco. Where did he go to? Finally made, you guys. So you can still open and close. This is exactly what we saw. I mean, the finishing is not the same like what we got, what we saw in that place, but it's not bad. It's not bad, bad, bad at all. Guess what I'm going to do with these plantains? This is it. This is what I'm doing. I'm pressing it. I'm going to try it. Yes, what? You have eaten a lot. Hey, <laughs> light don't go. I was trying to show you put my food or oh, this block will end here. There's no light. But this is my first bit. For opening no the way of the stomach. Mm -hmm. the you want my what? You don't want to eat again? Mm. Yeah, but you have eaten enough. I will, I will help you. So you have eaten a lot. Mm. 
your light is back to your eye. That's the page that I was trying to show you. Let's go do. And tapi tapi. Yes. I just finished watching a movie, um, um, The Fisherman's Diary. It's a Cameroonian movie, and I really enjoyed it. Um, the movie was, is this kind of movie that you're like, oh my god, wow, where, oh, sh ah, where? <laughs> you have so many emotions in the movie, and it was quite interesting. And I'd wanted to watch it ever since. I'm sure you guys have already watched this movie, like since, since, since. Everybody has watched it. But for me, um, the last time I watched, there was a, there was a point where I just did not want to watch Netflix because, like, you would see an interesting movie. There was this Christian movie I was watching on Netflix, and I came to realize that this was not actually a Christian movie. Like, this is not. I mean, it was kind of. It was a church kind of movie, but it was not edifying. It wasn't building me in any way. And I started reflecting, like, on looking at all the other movies that I've watched on Netflix, and I realized that there was an auto suggestion of um, being gay, of they were trying to normalize being gay and things like that, which I do not support. So I just took a break from Netflix and I just zoomed out. But recently, I've been really wanting to watch um, Smart Money Woman, and I've watched it all, you guys. I took what is it one day or two days? Not up to one, not up to two days, like one and a half. Like I used the first day I watched half and then the next day I just finished it. And I'm hoping that they can have another season of it. I think it should be season two or so. No, what am I saying? Yeah, I think it should be season two. So that's the movie that made me actually go back to my Netflix. I watched The Smart Money Woman. Then I remember that there was this Cameroonian movie I so badly wanted to watch that was also on Netflix. Um, the Fisherman's Diary. So I just went ahead to watch it um, as well. The movie was very interesting, you guys very 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 interesting i the quality everything the sound the movie was just so good i really enjoyed it and it was it's a like a thought-provoking kind of movie and it can actually evoke deep emotions if you like and the reason why it actually um it feels this way for me is because i've watched a lot of reviews and then i watched one particular review that really touched me which was done by konda delphine she is a youtuber a Cameroonian youtuber and um, she, because she she spoke about growing up in that area and so she can relate with the movie and it just made me want to even watch the movie more so when I was watching it I could see what she was talking about in her re review and it was just so interesting and man Cameroon is doing well I mean I, I, should, I should say that I should appreciate that the, the, the movie was so good everything about the movie was so good the scenes were so well like you look at a scene just being a YouTuber knowing how difficult it is sometimes to capture a certain scene in a certain way the effort and the intentionality top notch you guys anyways we have come to the end of this video you guys let me talk about the pork and chicken of you i cannot end this video without talking about that pork and chicken hey that pork and chicken was the pork and chicken of life <laughs> oh my god it was so delicious we had some leftover which is going to obviously finish today uh, my husband, one of my husband's friend came over and then two of our neighbors and that was it. 
yeah it was really delicious my husband is a is a proper chef like a proper my husband there are some things that he knows how to or not i feel like he can cook everything but he's selective with what he wants to cook so there are some things that when he cooks they are always very delicious i always want to eat i know that okay today is going to be a sumptuous mouth watering foodish day <laughs> anyways thank you guys for watching this video if you haven't subscribed to the channel what are you waiting for please uh, subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys on my next video bye